I'm on a roll today, so I actually have, I'm doing two cooking videos today. So I was at the grocery store and they had these chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs on sale. So this was $9.66 and this was $8.70. So I love dark meat in curry and um, it's just so much more flavoursome. So I just decided I'm going to share with you a curry recipe. We call this Nanny's curry, which is my mother used to make this. This is Madras curry. Now I get the mild. You can get a medium and you can get a hot. I don't like anything to be too spicy. Um, for me, it, it just doesn't suit my palate. So this one is delightful. Um, there are six grams of carbs and three grams of fiber, which means it has a net carb content of three grams. You need some onion chopped up. I have a nice big red onion chopped up here. And you need a tin of chopped tomatoes. And tomatoes, this, okay, so a half a cup of tomatoes has four grams of carb and one gram of fiber. So you've net three grams of carbs per cup. So I'm just gonna show you how to make this. It's a very quick dinner. I'm gonna make it a little early. It's like just going on for three o'clock now because the longer this sits, the nicer it is. And it's absolutely delightful on the second day. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so we're going to heat our pan. Let me move on my teapot. You can tell they're Irish. We have lots of teapots in our kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna start heating our pan and we're going to add some olive oil. This is just going to sweat the onions. Olive oil in there. I just got my spoon here. I love this spoon. It's a Betty Crocker spoon from Dollarama, and you can see it's actually flexible. I absolutely love it. It's my favourite spoon for cooking with. Okay, so I'm heating up my oil, and I'm going to take my onions, and I'm going to pop my onions in. My oil isn't very hot at the moment, but you'll hear it sizzling in a minute. So we don't want to really brown the onions. We more want to sweat them. looking okay so now I'm going to add my chicken and I'm just going to stir my chicken on the bottom so these as I say are pies boneless pies which are actually the best um, cut of chicken for our curry because it's so flavorsome you can use breast I do use breast of chicken as well but these just happen to be on sale so I picked them up Okay, so now I've added my boneless pies to my onion and I'm just going to just cook them off a little bit. Cook this, have it on the table in a half an hour or like I'm doing, you can make it early and let it sit. Uh, like I said, the next day is it's actually the best the next day. I wish you could smell the flavours of this, it's delightful. So I'm going, it says two tablespoons, I'm sure it isn't two heaped tablespoons, but I am going to put two heaped tablespoons in. Um, you can regulate this yourself, depending on how much paste you want. So I'm just going to mix the chicken in the paste. Okay, so now I'm going to add my tin of tomatoes. If you're doing this at home and you have small tins, you can add two tins of tomato. So now I'm just going to pour my tomato over. You don't need any other liquid. I'm just going to mix that around. I'm going to bring it to the boil and then you're just going to simmer it. And that's it. It's that simple. I'm going to put the lid on, bring it up to the boil. Then I'll give it a, another stir and I'm going to let it simmer for about a half an hour and then I'm going to turn it off and just going to let it sit there until we're ready to eat it. Okay, you can see now it's come to the boil. I'll just give it one more stir, make sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom. And then I'm going to turn it down and I'm going to let it simmer. Okay guys, this is actually cauliflower rice because I'm on the keto diet, but it's best served with basmati rice. It, this is absolutely delicious. And what I did with the cauliflower rice was I just really blanched it for about a minute because I don't like my cauliflower to be overcooked. So these are options for the keto diet or if you're diabetic or if you just want a healthier option. 
So this is actually the next day and these are some leftovers because I was so busy with all the kids around I didn't get a chance to video the full dinner. So I'm just going to sit now and enjoy it because I'm here on my own and if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys, I hope you'll give it a try.